case of fraud. There clearly is fraud in Medicaid. Um, there will, we are always uh, seem to be trying to catch up with the bad guys. Um, that's, I think that forever we will like to be just a little bit behind them, but you've got to keep trying. What I would tell you is that our error rate on Medicaid payment, remember, $9.5 billion program, this, this next year is 0.47%. We have a significant program integrity efforts, uh, but it's prepayment where claims are analyzed. They go through 1,300 procedures for screening. We save us about $100 million, $190 million annually. We do claim edits through claim check and GCI commercial products, which yield another $39 million. We do post-payment reviews, we have recovery audits, um, we have a variety of contractors that go through the data, help sort out outliers. Um, we have the, the managed care organizations that have formed a collaborative and are working more at trying to, there used to be a thought that folks in managed care, there's no incentive for fraud, but that isn't really the case, so we're working closer, more closely with the plans to do a better job there. And then of course we have NICU, uh, a fraud control unit, key TAM referrals, um, and we had about $55 million in prosecutions from that partnership last year. Um, an example of, of a uh, improper use of services, some of the fraud were some things that we did together around um, intensive in-home services and therapeutic day services. You see the blue line intensive in-home starting in 2006 to uh, 2010 there. You have to say why you're not having more people in the program. Their use of medications hasn't changed. This is the psychiatrist hasn't changed. Why are we getting all this inappropriate or what appears to be unusual and possibly inappropriate utilization? Uh, likewise, with intensive in-home services, and when you, you can see an intervention bycat program that CSPs have helped us with, have actually turned the corner of that, and we believe that the folks who are getting the appropriate treatment continue to get the appropriate treatment and. Uh, at less cost. The next one you all will be seeing us addressing mental health support services.